Reaper! And let me just go back, let me just go back. We just saw Bolinda. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Rebecca here. Welcome, coming in. So today we are gonna be doing a trailer reaction to the new Sims 4 stuff back, paranormal stuff. Super spooky, right? So let's watch the trailer first and then of course afterwards we can lay out and see what information we got from this pack and see if it's gonna be a good pack. I have a good feeling about this one. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Something bad is happening. <laughs> is that Caroline? It reminds me of like Ghostbusters or something. Iconic, iconic. Creepy. Oh, Gorane the Saga. Loving this. New career. Yes. We can become Ghostbusters. Wowza. That was actually a really good trailer. Like, I had a lot of fun jamming out to that. Like, I, I honestly need the music from that pack. So, let's just read some of the information that we've got from the Sims community. So, the Sims 4 Paranormal Stuff Pack. That word, it it hurts to say because I don't know how to say it. Light the candles and prepare the rituals. Ooh. To appease your ghastly new roommates in the Sims 4 Paranormal Stuff Pack. Spectral guests cause mischief and mayhem on haunted house lots, which one thing I'm really excited about, although I know we have like vampires and things like that. It's actually really interesting because it's like another element, I think. Because it's more like ghosts. But Sims can perform a seance and that is creepy. That's something I probably wouldn't do in real life. But I'd be interested, you know, I'll be interested to do it The Sims. It could be quite fun. Friend Gordy the ghost, become a paranormal investigator and restore order. Ooh, okay, okay. Can I just add though that some of these ghosts, they kind of look like little bogeys <laughs> running around. They are good, but I guess it kind of reminds me of Sims 2 where the ghosts were actually normal people, but I guess on this it's slightly different. So I'm intrigued. Meet Garcy roommates. Your new to you home might be home to someone else. Creepy. If it's one of the new haunted house lots. Appease the mysterious spectres to relax in serenity or let them run a mock of scares day and night. Oh, okay. So basically, you're gonna get some scary old roommates. They could be good, they could be bad, but they're ghosts regardless. Cleanse your home. See, I like the sound of this. A little bit of sage, a little bit of sage. If you want to send your new roommates pack in, which is one thing I want to do, unless it is, you know, Casper the Friendly Ghost, then of course I'm gonna send them pack in. Gordry, Gordry, I cannot say it. The ghost is happy to advise you. Remove cursed objects, perform a seance, and commune with the dead. Yes, yes, yes. And receive gifts from spectres. You can even summon Bolinda, the skeletal maid. Oh, guys, those of you that don't know who, you know, the iconic Bolinda is, she is iconic. Like, she's been around since Sims 1, Sims 2, I think even Sims 3. And, it, you know, she used to just come out of her coven and just start cleaning your house. You know, she was a top girl. And, I mean, I appreciate her. So, to see that she's back in the Sims 4, well, I'm hoping, since we did see her there, it's, it's a good one. Calm the spirits. I like the sound of this. Master the medium skill and impress Gordy, can't even say the name, to get a paranormal investigator license. I love that. That would actually be a really good job. Like, if I could speak to the dead and, and you know, do seances without, you know, getting scared, then I would. I think it's good. But, you know, only if it's for loved ones, nothing else. Once you're ready, take on some freelance gigs to expel unwelcome visitors for other sims. So that's kind of cool. With spooky activity on the rise, it's up to your sims to put a stop to it. Wow, wow, wow. So I like the sound of this so far. 
Of course, you know, when the new pack comes out, we're going to find more. But let's now dive into the trailer because, of course, we saw like a few things that were very fun. Definitely seen by Linda. And I think I even saw a cow plant. Whoa. Okay, let's stop it here. Look at the items. Like, this is obviously part of it. I love this dangly thing. And one thing that actually caught my eye, other than the furnishings, is these bees. I don't know what they are. They're kind of giving me haunted kind of like probably like mystical kind of vibe the curtains not keen but the plants oh, yes oh yes and can i see that this could be a new hairstyle i'm loving these sofas definitely the colors i mean is that cheese there shouldn't eat cheese before bed it will give you nightmares moving on moving on oh. <laughs> I love this bit because it's super creepy but we can see like some new lights it's giving me very like dungeon kind of vibes i'm actually really excited about this pack i like these pictures too <laughs> let's move on and honestly when i first saw this trailer is that caroline <laughs> it definitely looks like her caroline is that you when this bit came up it kind of reminded me of ghostbusters oh pause okay some of these items are so funky. It's kind of mixed between vampire stuff, but a bit better. A little bit more up to date, but still nice. I love these chairs. Oh, look at the patterns on there. Like the details with the blankets on top of the sofas. We got a new jar and a new plant. We see the bead things that I really like. And I like these. It's crossed between like laundry day, city living, you know, kind of vibes. And there's more options coming through. Like this thing. I love this thing. And that's a cow plant. <laughs> <laughs> yes to cow plant so we got a new lot type so obviously create haunted houses so that could be very very interesting there and then this is where we see the strange and angry ghost like this takes me back to sims 2 when of course the ghosts are actually people and they didn't look like luigi's ghosts <laughs> But anyway, seeing them in different colours, maybe back in The Sims 2, some of the ghosts, depending on how they died, I don't know if that was a theory, they were then different colours. So of course we had like purple, red, blue, ETC. So maybe some of that concept is coming into this. But of course, this looks like an angry ghost. So this is probably a seance that you want to encourage. You want to get rid of these ghosts. Because we can see some green ghosts here. And obviously maybe they're the happy ghosts. I don't know. But look at the power around her. Like, obviously, she's sensing all these ghosts. Oh, I'm loving it. She looks a bit creepy there. <laughs> I cannot begin to pronounce his name right now, but he might be actually, like, a main character in this. I'm not entirely sure just yet. We'll see. <laughs> and here, they're kind of, like, gathering around, having, like, a seance. Is it maybe she, you know, here you go, hosting a seance. Is that, like, a creepy person there? That, that's pretty creepy, that is. But I reckon with the seances, you know, hopefully you can summon loved ones on here. That would be really good. And maybe, you know, you're helping them with their journey. Maybe there's like a few kind of like missions or whatever that they want to do before they die. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so, so maybe if it's a good ghost, the house stays where it is. Where if it's a bad ghost, everything falls off the wall. <laughs> obviously they're a bit freaky new careers as well which i'm so excited for so obviously we're gonna go around to people's houses get some of some of these ghosts get rid of some of these ghosts and this part is just crazy kicking poor caroline i don't think that's a good idea that bit again with the presents let me go back because this trailer gets so quick this is where i kind of got the idea that maybe there might be like certain missions that they have to do for their loved ones or ghosts Maybe they're giving them presents. I don't know, helping them get to the other side. We will see. I'm so intrigued. Great Reaper! And let me just go back. Let me just go back. We just saw Bolinda. Like, it was just a little bit of a tease here, Bolinda. Because obviously we saw the Grim Reaper, which is incredibly cool. Hopefully he'll be around a lot more, other than when people die. But there is Bolinda here. So hopefully we see a lot more of her. And again, some more little bit of items that we can see. Cow plant. Yes, yes, yes. I love this little table here. And these lights are really cute. It's kind of giving me like movie hangout vibe. Yeah, movie hangout cross between laundry day and city living. I think so anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and here as well. Oh my gosh, I'm living for this. This is giving me movie hangout plants. And I can see a new plant. 
<laughs> that's amazing. And then we've got some new styles as well. Like I'm getting like bohemian me kind of vibes. Like I'm loving this. I am loving this. Like even the kids have got a new outfit. I am living for this. Oh, definitely. Oh, more clutter items, guys. Those of you that love clutter items and you love to clutter your house up. Here we go. It is a little bit creepy, some of these items, but definitely paranormal and different. But play with the lights. He is dancing 26th of January. I don't know about you, but I am actually really excited for this pad. The release date is the 26th of January, which is not that far away. I'm super excited. I have a feeling that with this pack, it's actually, even though it's only a stuff pack, there's actually quite a few items in there and they're quite controversial, like they're kind of different. So I'm really excited for this pack, which comes out on the 26th of January. So not that far away. I'm really intrigued to see kind of like the career options as well, because they look super fun. Are you excited? Let me know how you feel about this new pack and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys!